What is a sign that you're unattractive? When you ask people out and they say ew. I don't even like you as a friend. Should have ran when you heard them say ew. I wish I had a jetpack that I could take off in to avoid awkward circumstances like these, I'd probably use it three times a day minimum. When you have you are nice from inside talk with your parents, friends. How about when you finally manage to find someone, your parents keep going on about how they never thought it would happen. Like ever. Yes this happened in my big fat Greek wedding. It also happened to me in real life five years before that movie came out. Thanks mom and dad. I feel so bad for my parents, in a similar regard. Pretty sure they always wanted grandchildren and all of that. But my sister goes through boyfriends like sticks of gum, none last longer than two or three months before she dumps them, and I dated in my early to mid twenties and eventually went, this is bullcrap and just kind of stopped dating, because. Well. Dude, dating sucks. With work, I have limited time, and I've got my own hobbies and they're way more fun and much less stressful than dating. When it takes the bartender 15 minutes to notice you. Sometimes this is the opposite. The bartenders ignore the hot chicks at the bar. They will gladly serve the ugly guy desperately trying to hit on the ladies. They tip well. Yes, unfortunately most tipping stereotypes are true. I'm a woman and man do women suck at tipping. The only people commenting on your looks are an entire generation older than you. Edit. Generation is in you less than parents less than grandparents. Stop this one hurt. Stop this one hurt. Title of your sex tape, Jake to Santiago. When the guy in the van is suddenly all out of candy. When you are the one with the candy. R, F, B, I, open up. The one compliment you get is that you're nice, if you get compliments at all. Don't forget funny. That one hurts. Edit. I don't think being called funny should be taken as an insult or as truthfully even remotely a bad thing. It seems to me in most contexts that it isn't said genuinely and is just the go-to, one-size-fits-all generic compliment. The government asks you to wear a mask in public and stay six away from everyone. Fuck, I might be ugly guys. The ugly is really contagious this year, almost every country has a few reported cases. When I worked at a homeware store I greeted a guy and we started conversation can't remember how but it ended with him gesturing to my face and saying beauty isn't on the outside it's on the inside. I am sure he meant well but god did that cause a spiral of self-consciousness. I was only 15. Years ago I used to work in a car lot. Had some guy come in and tell me how I looked just like one of his relatives except she is pretty guy was a total dick. You look like the cousin I wanna duck but uglier. When you post a picture to social media and all the comments are about how brave you are. I love your courage. I'm a wheelchair user who sometimes does photo shoots. I hear this a lot. Not many understand why it hurts to hear. Small kids saying you are ugly. Yes, or ask about a certain aspect of your appearance. Why is your head so big? When you smile at someone and they pretend they didn't notice. My mom has done this to me all of my life. I never understood it. Fuck. Now you do. Several people send you the same poem about being beautiful on the inside. Yeah, that happened. Damn. It'll give you my heart if you trade me your svelte figure, beach. One time while going to the gym a guy held open a door for these smaller prettier girls and then just stopped holding it for me. To be fair, it's kind of unspoken to let the first two to three people in and hand off door duty to the next person. IDK it depends because if op was the last person of this line of people going through the door then the guy dropping the door on her was defo rude. The only people who smile at you are people who work in retail. Ha jokes on you I had a red district girl smile at me. Hate to tell you, but that's considered retail. You never, or rarely, catch people looking at you. And if they do it's to look at how ugly you are. Nah, if you ugly, they only look once. They don't want to be reminded again. You're 13 and at a sleepover and a fellow 13-year-old you've known for 20 minutes looks you straight in the eye and, unprompted, says you're really ugly. I'm less ugly now but it was true at the time. You're a beach Jordan. I remember being uglier as a 13-year-old too. Puberty maybe? Anyways, go to Jordan, unprompted, and tell her that you, Indian man of Reddit agrees that she's a beach. Puberty really ducks some of us. I was butt ugly from like, 10 to 19. 
That's the only time I met her, but I'm comfortable assuming Jordan's probably still out being a beach somewhere to this day. You came here to see if anything anyone posted matches your real life experiences. Edit. Thanks for the gold. I am still sad though. Almost every one of them. Hey, at least we're in this together. S. Here's one more. Me and my homie went out with a girlfriend of ours and another girl. We spent all night together all four of us drinking and dancing. When we all got tired we sat down to rest. This chick goes and sits on my homie's lap, looks at me and tells me she doesn't trust me. She shouldn't trust him as well, since we all met that night, but I guess I was alone on that one. I should be used to my homie getting hit on while I'm right there by his side, but I don't trust you when I did nothing to deserve that besides well, being the ugly friend, that really hurt man. Can you identify? Please say yes. You only match with bots on Tinder. And then those bots tell you that you ugly. You ain't got no alibi. When people talk to you in order to get to know your friend. Man, I felt that punch in the gut. Used to happen to me all the time. Yup that happened to me when I was in high school. I remember it was literally the worst feeling in the world, especially when that person was someone you found attractive. When the popular kids would prank their friends by getting you to ask their friend out. I was asked out by one of the popular girls in high school once. I thought she was messing with me so I said no. Turns out she genuinely wanted to date me. Low self-esteem sucks. You are not alone. You get the sympathy smile. Ah. This one hurts. What's interesting about the sympathy smile is that it looks like a normal smile except you can feel the sympathy part. Yeah, it's like someone worked in a wordless, oh. Honey. Combined with a you poor, brave little thing. Like you're a trooper for not shooting yourself in the face and just. Existing like that every single day. I had really bad acne in high school, it sucked at the time but now I can laugh at the fact I used to look like a lumpy tomato. But babies would always cry and I recall a lot of dogs barking at me. I had facial acne and then horrible back acne which meant that I couldn't take my shirt off as a teenager. The anxiety and horror of dealing with this was unbearable. I could write a book about it. Hell I still have back acne at 28. Would take that over facial acne though for sure. I wish I can find a partner just like you. Not you of course, someone like you. Man I've heard this before. It just crushes you. When people don't laugh when you joke about how unattractive you are. And then you purposely laugh at your own joke to signal to people that it is a joke and they should laugh because you now feel very uncomfortable, but they'd rather you feel uncomfortable than risk seriously hurting your feelings by laughing. When your husband tells you you need to put on some makeup and do your hair when you already have. When your husband wants you to look at the great shape on her. Has never even told you that you are pretty and says he only married you because he thought I wouldn't have work and you would take care of me. I think you need a divorce. You're supposed to ride a dick, not marry one. When someone of the opposite gender hugs all your friends but high fives you. Don't be hurtful. Like in Harry Potter when Hermione finally comes back and hugs Harry but shakes Ron's hand. Whose wand ended up doing magic in her? When your friends describe you as someone with a big heart. And a good sense of humor. What a great character in general. If you tell a self-deprecating joke, everyone will look uncomfortable or get quiet. Edit. While my most popular comment by far is about self-deprecating jokes. Fun. This hits home way too hard. I used to do this and also overshare with people I just met because I didn't want there to be awkward silence but subsequently I've started giving less of a duck and it's been really beneficial. Mirrors? What are those? And most importantly, are they real? When people's eyes just consistently glaze over you. When you go clothes shopping with a friend and the shop clerks greet your friend when you enter the store, but not you. That's usually who's in front who's taller or who's on the right if the person is right-handed thing.